Hello everybody, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin video. This is part 30 of our Starcourt Mall build series. Uh, today we're going to be building Burger King, because of course Burger King is the best. Oh, so good. I haven't had Burger King in ages. To be honest, I haven't had fast food in ages. It's, it makes me sad. To be honest, I'm going to go and have a cry after this video. But <laughs> anyway, we're going to be bringing Burger King to, of course, our Starcourt Mall. Now this plays a big role in um, Starcourt's sort of food court area. Um, I think in one of the episodes you do see Eleven sort of squeeze a, um, a, a Burger King sort of Coke cup um, into this like girl's face and it's very funny. Um, but uh, yeah, so it does play a big role in um, the show. It's quite a cool scene and uh, yeah, Burger King, of course we need a Burger King. Like who doesn't need a Burger King? So we're going to be building this today. It has got a whole kitchen back here. The menu is above, so you can see what you want actually to buy. So like I said, the kitchen is back here. It does go into the back corridors, of course, behind all of the food court stuff. But it only starts just here. That's pretty cool. If we go out of Burger King and to our right, we have this corridor just here. Now this is basically where the restrooms are, as well as some of the more practical things you need in a mall. So, for example, these are toilets. The gents just there. I think, yep, these are the ladies just here. Then if we go down the corridor, we have like um, some electronics areas just here, a janitor's closet just here that also goes into um, up near the cinema. So it's kind of like a back exit um, and entrance. And then of course we have Hot Dog on the Six back entrance as well as Hawkins Heroes. So this place does play a vital role in the mall. Um, it's actually very, very cool. And we also have some telephones back here. So if you will say, um, well, from what I've seen when I've been to malls here in the UK, they seem to have, for some reason, telephones near the toilets. I don't know if it's so you can call for help. Uh, I don't think that is probably what it's for. Um, but they do seem to have like the telephones next to the toilets because obviously all the facilities in one place, basically. So it makes it a little bit easier for people to find them. Um, so if you want to call a cab whilst you're just about to nip to the toilet and you can do that if you wish but that is what we're going to be building today so that was a long intro i apologize um let's just get into part 30 let's go for it okay then guys i think i'm prepared to teach you guys how to build this um back section to the mall first of all um i have a little sketch in front of me i have some photos so hopefully we're going to get this under control and built up pretty good uh, my sketch is very, very bad, <laughs> but it will hopefully help in this progress. So let's go ahead and take these materials. We're going to need some white concrete, some chiseled quartz block. We're also going to need some sea lanterns, some end stone bricks, some jungle trap doors, some grass blocks, some oak leaves, and some blue concrete, as well as an end rod just here. Now, first thing we're going to do is take our end stone bricks. We're going to go in line with the kelp block of hot dog on a stick. We're going to bring this along back here. And we're going to do this for two rows like this. Now, of course, we're going to be building this area out a little bit more as well. But for now, it's only to help us mark out bits and pieces. If you do feel like you want to just add in a couple rows as well to connect those rows up to the end where the steps are, then feel free to do so. It won't ruin the look of it at all. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to here. Sorry, Sea Lantern, you're going to have to move there. We're going to take our chiseled quartz block. We're going to go directly next to our endstone bricks. And we're going to go along for three four five six like this we're also going to do the same for this one now i know we've already built a brick wall here for hawkins heroes but take this one out on the corner let's make this one up to six by adding two blocks on then we need to add these up to two rows so we already have our two just at this side so we're going to add two to those and add two rows to this one as well now you'll notice that the white concrete does feed into this kind of quartz below and we're going to do the same for the rest of these blocks sticking out right until you reach the ceiling by the way guys and this goes up for about four rows like so now there is a kelp block that goes here um so if you do need to like switch out some materials i wouldn't do it just yet but um we will do it later when we build burger king we're going to build a kelp block kind of pillar just here so don't worry about that too much at the moment let's take our white concrete and put one two just there at the top two blue concrete and then two more white just down here. Brilliant. Now this is where we're going to build the restroom type sign. So what we're going to do is we're going to place two end rods. They're going to try and be next to one another. So you might have to place a block so you can get the end of that end rod facing to the left for Hawkins Heroes. And we have to place a block over here as well for now. So that the end of that one 
is facing towards Burger King. But if you wanted to do it in a sort of cool way, so like the end is in the middle, I kind of like doing that occasionally. It kind of looks cool. So I'm going to do that over here. You'll just have to place your block to remove it two blocks away instead, or not for this side, if that makes sense. <laughs> so there we go. That is looking brilliant. Time to switch pictures. So we're going to go down this corridor. This is quite a big corridor, to be honest, for what it is. We're going to take two white concrete blocks, build them down from the roof like so. So you only have one concrete block kind of poking through just here. Sea lanterns above, two white concrete for two lots. Uh, sea lanterns, white concrete, and then two sea lanterns just like so. Now we come to the end of our sort of tunnel. And this actually has a cool sort of um, block, I guess you could say, at the top here. So it's kind of like a cluster of these like so. And then it goes back into the, the lights and stuff like that for the end. But that looks really good for now. Okay, I need to switch pictures and make sure I get the right one. Like I said, I'm, I don't want to rely on my sketch too much because it's very bad. So, uh, <laughs> this will be awkward if we get this wrong, but hopefully we won't. Right, let me just... Alright, okay, here we go. So, we are going to go ahead and get our endstone bricks. Add two more in there. Add two, and then add another two just here. Now, there's going to be a wall that goes here. So the corridor is going to be worth two blocks again going down this way and of course this way. Now speaking of the corridor here, we are going to go besides our block just here, like that. Then we are going to go for one, two, oops, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. So only five blocks come away from this wall just here. Now you can fill that in. And you can also fill a row back here, like so. Now this back wall is where the telephones are, so we're going to go ahead and take our chiseled quartz block and go up three blocks, four, one, one in the corner, two, three, four, five. So five lots of three, like so, for that row there. Then take your white concrete and of course fill that up to the top. White concrete and the quartz look really good together, especially for all these back sections of star court. Brilliant. You can now take your sea lanterns, stick two just there two rows of three just like that then we're going to do a row of sea lanterns just like so for three three lots of white concrete and then three lots of white concrete after your sea lanterns just there so you should have this this kind of like a um skeleton view of it really it's pretty cool um that is perfect then we're going to go ahead and build this corner and it's going to go for three quarts and then the rest is going to be white concrete for that four around the corner we are going to go for one two three and we'll add the corner, which is going to be the fourth white concrete. Once again, four blocks straight up to the ceiling. Like so. Then we're going to go ahead and add in our quartz. So one, two, three over there. Leave a gap for the doorway. Put one, two, three just there. Underneath your door frame, you can just stick an end stone brick if you wish. And then, of course, to finish this corner off, one, two, three quartz. If I am going too quickly, guys, please don't forget you can pause the video whenever you need to. It is no problem whatsoever. Okay, so we're going to turn the corner now. We are going to go down here. Now, on the fourth block, going down this massive row, which is going to be worth 19 blocks, I think. Not including the corner. Um, I think. I will have to double check that later, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, on the fourth block, we're going to put a door. So we're going to go one, two, three, and on four, like I said, doorway in there. So we can put an endstone brick. Then we're going to go one. So we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten on eleven there's a door twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen there's a door sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and that is where we end perfect no pun intended of course because endstone bricks you know <laughs> oh god i'm sorry guys i always end up bringing out the bad jokes i'm sorry so anyway fill up your quartz two three layers high of course one of those layers is going to be excluded because of the endstone bricks at the bottom but the rest of those can be filled up with three lots and then you can take your white concrete and also fill these up for the last four blocks up to the ceiling you may as well also bring the white concrete along the top of the doorways that was a voice break right there <laughs> because um the doors are only worth two blocks of course and we won't be able to see sort of over the door frames ah let me out there we go so we can build this right up to the ceiling. Hopefully it won't get too dark. Let's just place a block so it doesn't. 
there we go and fill up behind where we saw, saw the sort of exoskeleton of these back rooms like that brilliant then we can go ahead and take our wall again we are going to go for we've already got one here two three four five six perfect now on the sixth on the seventh one is a door just here which is awesome that is what we want we're also going to put a block just there and there's also going to be a door just here which goes into the hot dog on a stick place then we're going to stick another block just a block away from that one so if you want to fill in the doorways with just some endstone bricks to represent the doors then that is absolutely no problem so one block just there and then we go ahead and put three in that corner to connect up to the 19. Oh, it was 19. Thank goodness. Okay. Then we fill all of these up, of course, to three again. Like this. And then our concrete goes all the way around the perimeter to fill up the rest of this. Now, if you wish to come back into hot dog on a stick area, you can just go ahead and make this sort of corridor. So put three just there uh, and then put three just there. One here, one here, one here, then come in here. And where this is going to be a sandstone, you can't remove that, unfortunately, because of the escalator. But like I said, this area is not going to be seen by people visiting the mall. Um, so like people like Eleven would not have actually been able to see this section of the mall. So you can just leave that sandstone and it won't really matter too much. If you are a little bit picky with stuff like that, then I can totally relate. Um, you can just go ahead and move maybe the door in just by a block it is a little bit awkward because you will be having to go to here say but uh whatever you know whatever floats your boat whatever thinks you think will work for you is absolutely up to you now i'm going to go ahead and replace that quick there we go and then build the rest of this wall up using my white concrete of course if anybody has any questions about the build please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments down below it's no problem at all I try my best to help you guys out as much as possible I know some days my build technique might look a little bit confusing, but in actual fact it's pretty easy. It's just that I make it look over complicated and I apologize for that. So regarding the roof with hot dog on a sticks sort of corridor, we of course have a sandstone pillar just here. Now this one does need to stay in as well because of course that glass you don't want to see through to, you know, the uh, the back section I guess. Oh I just replaced the wrong thing, never mind. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our white concrete again, place a block there, Sea lantern, block, make these um, white concrete blocks go down two lots so that the sea lantern is kind of encased around like this. And then as we get to the end, you should be left with just the white concrete like so. Perfect. Now you can fill all these up again. There we go. Add your lights in the ceiling, alternating again between your sea lanterns and your white concrete. Oh, sorry guys there we go and then almost at the end now ah oh, there we go right take our end stone bricks go all the way along to fill in this pathway like so and we have some corridor to work with which is perfect once you have the corridor done with this part of the tutorial it makes it much easier to understand all the different bits and bobs that go into it so that is always good let's just bring that white concrete down as well so we have just the corridor there we go perfect now lastly to finish off the details in this corridor we can go ahead and put two grass blocks on the end just like so stack up two lots of two high oak leaves like that and then stupidly i got rid of my jungle trap doors we're going to need to grab them back so we can go ahead and place those with a handle facing upwards at the end of the corridor like so just to add a little plant pot always looks nice and then lastly you can take yourself whatever door suits you so maybe some spruce doors um, I also grabbed some birch doors um, and I went ahead and scattered these about. So I put the spruce ones mostly on the things that are not going to be used by um, visitors. They're going to be used by staff members. So down here for the toilet doors, they're going to be birch. But the rest can be spruce like that. Okay, let's grab the materials for the telephone and then let's get building some toilets. Yay, my favorite. <laughs> All right, I'll be back in a sec. Okay then, guys, so I think I've got enough sort of... Um, help with my pictures to be able to teach you guys the toilets and stuff like that now the outlines of the the toilet rooms and then we can add the toilets in later so first things first of course we need to add our telephones now to do this we go ahead and place an item frame just there a block in from this way and a block in from this way so they are block away like so 
put some tripwire hooks facing to the right for both of those, diagonally to the right. Tripwire hooks underneath those for the actual telephones. And then some buttons on the bottom row like that. So it's kind of like the dial bit so you can type in a number or whatever you want to do. Pretty awesome stuff. So regarding the toilets, I know, exciting. We are going to go into the ladies bathroom first of all. Now to build this, we are going to go a block away from the door. So here, we're going to start counting. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Let me just spin my picture around. One, two, three, four, five, and six, which is few, exactly what we have here. Oh, I thought I did it right when I did the slash fill command. But you know when you just feel like you haven't? <laughs> That's what I felt like and I was getting worried. But no. You need to have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks along the right side of the door once you're in the toilet sort of area. And then alongside the wall, we are going to go for a one, two, three, four, five blocks like so. And then of course a six for that corner, but this is going to be not seen because it's going to go into a nice square like this. So you're going to build kind of a rectangle actually, just like so. And I know it's quite small but it will work well for us. Build these up, of course, to three blocks high. Now, regarding the men's bathroom, I don't know if we've got enough space here. Okay, maybe not. I'll have to check that out in a second. Build these up to three. Then we can just stick some sea lanterns in so we can see what we're doing. And the rest is, of course, going to be some white concrete. Now, the toilets don't have that higher roof. Um, where we've built the roof really really tall here they're not going to have all the space to use because at the end of the day toilets you know they're quite dark normally they're quite um well not dark but they they have really small ceilings have anyone noticed that before it's really weird i guess it's because you don't really appreciate the ceilings when you go to the, the bathroom i don't <laughs> i don't really know but um to do that it, to, to light up these toilets we are going to go ahead and literally just go from the white concrete, go along and go along the perimeter of all of these walls. Don't fill this in just yet because what we're going to do is take our sea lanterns, put three in, put three white concrete, put three sea lanterns, white concrete and then sea lanterns again. So we have three lots of lights like so. Now that is perfect. Material I did forget to grab, which I'm sorry about guys, is just some smooth quartz block that we're going to use for the toilet floor. So fill in this entire space with your smooth quartz block. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to go double check the toilet for the uh, the toilet dimensions for the gents and I'll be right back. All right, guys, good news regarding the gents toilets. We do have enough space. Um, I just went and double checked and we do exactly have enough space. We might have to just like cut into the wall so we can add a wall in this dirt block. Um, but other than that, we have tons of space to work with. That's perfect, literally just enough. Whew, lucky. Okay, it was almost if it was planned. <laughs> so we're going to go over here and to the, by the way, this is the next door along from the ladies. So this is actually in front of a telephone. We're going to go to here. We're going to go counting back from here. We're going to go for a one, two, three, and then four just here. So we're going to start building just here. So you should have four exposed, but as fifth one, we're going to build this up to a wall with our quartz first of all like so so again four blocks on the back wall as well now for the section we are going to go into the wall like I said and build this area along up until we reach the ladies bathroom with this quartz like so now we are going to use the back wall of the ladies because it's actually easier to work with um, we have a bit more space to use then we're going to go up to this wall now this will get a little bit tricky because the cinema is here, but like I said, the wall, uh, sorry, the ceiling only gets cut off here, if you remember. So um, we are not going to use any of that space, so that's really lucky. So we're only going to fill up three blocks with our white concrete above our quartz. Phew. When I was building this, I had to make a lot of adjustments because of that cinema. I didn't really think about the cinema too much and then it came to the downstairs and I was like oh crumbs I have messed up but luckily it wasn't too bad and I just managed to sort out a little bit um, just with a little bit of adjustment for the toilets <laughs> but uh, yeah few 
All right, let me just switch my pictures so I can see what lights are in here. Okay, so regarding the lights, we're going to go for a little bit of a perimeter like we did before over on this side. So the four blocks alongside the door, we're going to go up to here, add this little curve, put two sea lanterns in there, add four blocks of white concrete, two, one in either end, sea lanterns, four blocks, two, two sea lanterns. Then we're going to fill this in and then we're going to put a sea lantern on either end like so. And then we're going to fill in those two blocks at the end. Now, the reason we're doing that is because there's a cubicle just in here for, for either side of that kind of back wall. That's perfect. So once again, to mark this out, we're going to use some smooth quartz block for our floor. Speed run that and there we have it. We are ready to get installing some loose. Let's go ahead and do that now. All right then, so we're gonna go ahead and furnish both of these toilets kind of um, at the same level as each other. So we're gonna go ahead and take ourselves some iron doors, some smooth quartz slab, some smooth quartz block, some hoppers, some buttons, some white wool, some item frames, some smooth quartz stairs, and some iron trap doors. Let's go ahead and open the door, go on in, and go ahead and place two um, smooth quartz blocks, just a block up, so on the second row long and in a block from this right hand side wall leave a block and do the same over here leave a block and do the same over here so you have three of these pillars sticking out the wall put slabs underneath these for two and slabs on top for two like so then you can take your eye doors go behind so you're going into the cubicles kind of and place doors on either on all of oops my mistake on all four of these like so now it doesn't matter too much about where the handles are facing if you are like me and you are annoyed about that one at the end ah oh, that's annoying then you can try and change one of these up so you know what let's change that up real quick oh you, you what <laughs> it's because it gets stuck to the um thing to, okay okay it doesn't want to play but yeah if you are like me and you get annoyed about the handles doing that um you can try and figure out how to get them to go towards each other so both of them are facing towards each other but this one in the end is being picky he doesn't want to do it there we go perfect that was that block that was annoying it okay let's grab that back grab that back oh that was a bit more of a pickle than it had to be but i'm sorry about that guys you know like ocds and stuff they do tend to ruin builds <laughs> occasionally when i'm trying to do something and I, like an ocd is just like handles on doors no they can't be facing the wrong way that's bad but anyway back to the build a stone button just goes to the right of this door. A upside on stair goes here with the eye trap door on top. And then there's a diagonal upside on stair just there. Now we will need to come back and grab some new materials, but we'll do that at the same time as we once we finish the gents because it's much easier to work with them. For now, go into the cubicles and place a hopper at the back wall. And go to the left of the front of each of these cubicles and place item frames with a wall block inside of these for toilet roll perfect now regarding the gents toilets we are going to go ahead and build two cubicles at the back so for this one we're going to go ahead and put two uh, rows of two just like this so basically fours four blocks like that and build a strip to the ceiling perfect a hopper goes in both of these at the back and then to the right and to the left of these cubicles you place your item frame with a white woolen to represent toilet paper and then you're going to place your doors in like so now this one's nice it makes the handles go on either end because we've got this block to work with so that is lovely but as far as the other ones go they've just been a pain for no reason i forgot to mention but buttons go on the back of all of the hoppers so you can pop back into the ladies and just do this quickly just to add a toilet seat representation i guess um, but you could just use a trapdoor if you wish, like a normal trapdoor. That'd be fine. All right, let's go a block away from this door over here. The, the, the furthest door away from the actual door to get in and out of this place. And we're going to place a pillar of four blocks with quartz like so. Now this one is going to go ahead and kind of be carried along. We're going to cut into the floor for three blocks. Put hoppers in with iron trapdoors on top for the urinal. And then place another pillar up the wall over there. Brilliant. An upside down stair goes in the middle of these two, well, three blocks over here. Then there's a button to the right of the door once you're inside. 
and then you're going to put an upside down stair just there with an iron trap door on top. I was stood in the urinal. That was very delightful. Brilliant. Need to go clean my shoes quick. Um, but um, we are going to grab some new materials and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So I've grabbed these four materials, tripwire hooks, some cauldrons, some water and some white stained glass. In the ladies' bathroom, we're going to go ahead and put two cauldrons, two tripwire hooks above those, and then a row of two glass, or three if you want, like that, above that sort of countertop. Brilliant. Now let's go into the gents, and we're going to go ahead and put three blocks above like that, and then a cauldron on either end with your tripwire hooks above like so. Then, of course, go around all of the cauldrons, filling these in with your water, because no sink is complete without water. Oh, gosh, not that much water. Um, oh, gosh, I forgot. Phew. Okay, there we go. S fixed. Nope. Fixed. There we go. Perfect. Problem solved. And there we have it. We have built two lots of toilets. That is awesome. We are now ready to go ahead and complete some more of the secret rooms down here. Alrighty then, guys. For the next bit, the materials you are going to need. You're going to need a block of iron, some iron trap doors, some levers, some stone buttons, some iron bars, some white concrete, some chiseled quartz block and some sea lanterns. Now first things first, we are going to go behind door number one. Unfortunately there isn't a prize, but we're going to go behind this one just here. So literally to the left of the gents toilet door. We're going to go ahead and mark out our room in here. Now we already have the wall just here to work with it, so that is perfect. We are literally just going to go to here, build this along and build that up to a square like that. So it's only literally a nine block space to work with, but that is fine. Build, of course, your chiseled up to three blocks high. And then we're gonna fill in the floor with our quartz. I should have grabbed that before. Ah, my mistake. Pop into the jet's bathroom, nick that. Brilliant. Quartz for the floor again, just so we can keep it all nice and samey samey, really. White concrete goes above the chisel quartz for, of course, four blocks. But for this bit, it's only going to be the same length as the gents' toilets, which is fine by us. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fill this over, leaving only a three block radius in the middle. So you can go ahead and put three sea lanterns on the roof like so. Now we can go ahead and put a block of iron over here. Block of iron over here, stacked up for two lots. So we have four basically. Two iron bars in that gap. Block of iron just there. Then we're going to go ahead and put some iron bars just there two iron blocks there and then iron bars in the corner like so. Iron trap doors on all of the iron blocks showing and then buttons and levers on the ones that remain. Very very crowded space, very cramped but it looks cool once it's all together uh, It makes it all you know kind of fit nicely in there like so. Perfect well that space is completed that was probably the easiest section. Awesome! We are ready to go ahead and build a Genesis closet. Alright then guys, so the materials you will need for your janitor's closet. By the way, the janitor's closet is the one to the left of this electrical sort of station. We're going to need some dark oak wood planks, some oak wood planks, um, oak wood stairs as well, some sea lanterns, some white concrete, chisel quartz block, spruce door, smooth quartz block, and some smooth quartz stairs. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and extend this wall out and up to this dirt block. So use your chiseled again for three lots like so. Then you can build your white concrete wall above that for these four blocks in total. Now once you've done that, you can, let me just go ahead and place a sea lantern just there. We're going to go ahead and use this wall again so that we have a bit more space to work with. Now to do that, we're going to go ahead and cut into the dirt for the bottom three of chiseled quartz block. And then for the top four of our white concrete. Like so. Now this is the room that connects up to the cinema's second door. So the, the, the door furthest away actually goes down to Scoops Ahoy. But this door connects up to this janitor's closet so they can access the food court a little bit quicker and easier. It's kind of like a staff's back entrance, I guess, which is pretty cool. Now what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go ahead, ahead and place a white concrete pillar over in this corner right up to the ceiling. Like so. Then we're going to go ahead and remove these two blocks up. So these two blocks just here, right next to the iron block there. Um, so this goes right next to the um, white concrete pillar. Then break those two, break those two, and then we'll leave that for now. Now what you can do whilst you're here is you can stick a door on there if you wish, 
that just shows us that there's a door that goes there so that's perfect then go a block up from the door miss that one and go just here place a um, a sea lantern then a block away place another sea lantern just there now to fill over this roof we're going to go ahead and use our white concrete again actually no we're not we're going to go ahead and use our planks our oak wood planks now it doesn't really matter too much if you did use your you know your quartz your concrete even um, but because we're using wood to represent our room here we're also going to use some dark oak wood planks for the floor um, it's kind of cool to do a wood roof as well but like I said it's not that important so if you're you know already happy with the white concrete then just keep the white concrete going now we're going to take our upside down dark oak no oak wood stairs and go upside down for three rows like this all the way around the perimeter of this room like that so we basically have a shelving unit at the back we can go and access some uh, materials and stuff like that for cleaning uh, the bathrooms and bits and pieces like that perfect you could also add some barrels in here for storage as well as some chests but it's up to you guys how you want to do it now with this section we are going to go behind this door we're going to count from this block so we're going to go one two then we're actually going to go for just count this on the picture one two three four five six okay so one two three four five six up to there now what we can do is this corridor goes along up to that five just to here and then on the six it starts to rise up like this now the reason it does of course like i said is because there is going to be the door that leads just here perfect i found it phew now to make this staircase we are literally just going to use our quartz blocks so our quartz stairs and our quartz block we're going to put a quartz stair right beside the door so this literally starts going down just in front of the door now you will need to break some more dirt so everyone that is on a super flat world that can't go down it's going to be laughing at us again there we go um a little bit of a long process but it's okay and then once you build it down you can connect up the flooring with your chisel quartz block and then fill in the rest of this area that was just a marker with your quartz smooth quartz if you can but to be honest it doesn't really matter again too much and then we just replace all of these dirt blocks with quartz just so it looks nice and then yeah we have basically done it so let's go ahead and fill all this in real quick and i'll be right back well there we have it guys we have a nice clean corridor just here that we don't even have to light because we've already lit up before and this is ready for using so we have the entire downstairs um type janitor area i guess you could say and the restrooms completed so we're actually ready to work on burger king you guys ready i know i'm ready for some food let's go ahead and start the burger king process let's do it now all right guys so the materials you will need to get us started with burger king is the dried kelp block the smooth quartz block the spruce wood planks the spruce wood slab sea lanterns spruce door and some dark oak trap doors now this is not of course all the materials but we're gonna go ahead and grab some more later but for now this will get us started so the kelp block goes of course here like we were on about earlier just a nice pillar alongside the restroom sort of sign that goes there then we're going to go a block out from this just here and bring this down for two blocks like so so diagonally away from that kelp block two blocks down with our spruce we're going to do this along until we basically spell burger so we're going to go ahead and go u r g e r like so so burger is of course six long uh, six letters long like so okay then we can go ahead and go to the end of the r and drop down here for one two three four like so then we can go ahead and fill the rest of this block up with some of our quartz for three blocks then we can go just next to that and put one two blocks just there and then a slab on top of that now we're going to do that same design all the way along until we reach the kelp block over here then you can put slabs all the way along those for those six blocks and that is going to be our countertop for burger king now this may, might be a great time to just take your end stone bricks and go ahead and fill these up go up to that sandstone pillar and then go back on yourself until you reach just this piece of wood just here Then you can fill this all in for your flooring 
like so. Okay, so now we have the countertop lit up. Well, not lit up, but ready to go. Um, we've made this little pillar area over here. We are now going to go ahead and basically do a weird pattern on the back. So what we need to do is we're going to build this block along. So we're going to need to place a quartz block in the floor, and that is going to be where a door is going to go um, back here. So we're going to actually stick a door in there. Then we're going to go ahead and place three quartz blocks just besides that. And then a row, two lots of four, like so, above that with our spruce wood planks. You can also do one on the end, so three lots of quartz and then four lots of spruce, just so we mark that out ready for the back wall as well. Okay, now we have this side wall over here. Go above the door frame, drop down from the ceiling and place two blocks. We're going to do this all the way along, basically so we're mimicking the Burger King sign at the front until we reach the quartz at the back like so. That one goes along for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight like so. Then you can stick some dark oak trapdoors on the bottom of all of those just to finish that off. Now we need to fill in the gap with some sea lanterns. So you literally just do like a zigzag pattern until you reach that point back there. And that lights up the sign so you can see everything in all its glory, which is perfect. Now what we're going to do as well now, now we've marked everything out, we're actually going to drop underneath of all of these and place another row because that is where our signs are going to go with our menu. Then you can place your trapdoors on that. Like so. Perfect. Looking very cool. Looking like a Burger King should, you know. Very tasty. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to build the kitchen. Now this goes from this wall over here. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10 is going to be our corner, which is right next to where the ladies' bathroom should be. Now you can build that pillar up right to the top. I know it's quartz and we're going to kind of section it off. But just to mark out where this corner is going to go, it's always helpful to have one that kind of stands out from the rest. So you can do that right there if you wish. Alright, so now we have that wall over here done. We're going to go ahead and start next to the kelp block. Now we're going to go ahead and put one, two, three blocks of our concrete. Uh, sorry, our quartz just here. And we're going to fill up the rest of this with some planks like so. So basically sectioning off half the wall now, but that's fine. We're going to do that back again. And we're going to do it basically back again for four diagonal. So one, two, three, four, like so. And then we end up at the back wall over here. This, of course, goes up to three again, as well as this wall over here. So you can build this one up as well. I did mess up but before. I just had to go and double check and then like restart my recording because I did mess up a little bit. That's a little bit of a secret, but it's always good to go double check your work. That is what I will say. So what we're going to do now is plank up the rest of these blocks. So we basically section off Burger King from any other part that we might get confused with, really. Make sure that we have just the burger part of Burger King ready. <laughs> so let's fill all these in. It's helpful that we're doing it right below the... I think we're right below the um, either Zales or... What is the other store above us right now? Oh, come on. Ah, it's Wicks and Sticks. So right underneath Wicks and Sticks, which is basically the same type of wood. So it's really, really helpful to use a similar material because, of course, the roof is going to be the same material. But not for long. We are going to change up the entire roof. Um, so that is with sea lanterns and some planks. So we're going to put a sea lantern in the corner. Planks around that. Then we're going to go ahead and go basically um, two blocks away. So we're going to start a new row just here and go diagonally again. Fill in the rest of those blocks with your planks. Fill in the rest of these blocks with your planks. Then from that we can go ahead and add another diagonal like so. Then sea lanterns again. So basically add in a weird pattern on the ceiling. And then just fill in the zigzag again with your planks. Lots of zigzags in this tutorial. And it was really, really hard to build Burger King on the corner. I am not good with building stuff on corners. I like to build a straight looking shop. So like with this one it's got the four walls. Whereas this one kind of goes back and it's a little bit more three-dimensional um, than, say, like Hawkins Heroes over here. So it was really hard to build them at an angle, but it was actually quite fun. Definitely challenged uh, my building skills, so that is always good. 
Wicked. Okay. Now, for the flooring of Burger King, it is going to be a mix between some lovely black concrete and some white concrete. So, once again, we're going to alternate between the two as we've done on many of our previous builds with kitchen type things. So, let's start in the corner next to the door. One black concrete. And then you literally just do this pattern until you have no space to fill in left like this so make sure that none of the materials touch one another so none of the same color touch one another they only touch at their corners so diagonally like i'm doing right now until you have the entire thing filled in basically like so perfect and we can take that sea lantern out and we are ready to get the cooking materials in here i'll be right back i'll grab some new things and then we'll get back to it all right, so to get us started with the kitchen stuff, we are going to need some iron bars, some spruce wood stairs, iron trap doors, cauldrons, water buckets, furnace, a blast furnace, just in case you want to get that extra crispy type burger, you know, cotton pasta, and a hopper. We're going to go ahead and put one, two, three, four, five upside down stairs in the corner. Then I'm going to switch my pictures so I can see what to do next. <laughs> I'm going to go around the corner for one block. Then I'm going to place two cauldrons just here. Then an upside down stair, one furnace, one blast furnace, then an upside down stair, and then one composter over in that corner. Now we have the worktop to work with, the workspace basically. Now above these furnaces you can go ahead and place two hoppers, one might cover up a sea lantern but that is no problem. Take your iron bars, go straight up to the ceiling on the uh, basically either side of the furnaces, like so. Then you can put iron trapdoors over the furnaces like so. And then water in the cauldrons over here. Grab some new materials and get complete in the kitchen. Now then guys, I've grabbed myself some last materials. Some tripwire hooks, some stone pressure plates, some smooth stone slab, black stained glass, iron bars, blue stained glass, red stained glass, iron trap doors and some dark oak signs. We're going to go ahead and place our blue stained glass over in the corner with the red stained glass beside it. Iron bars over here to represent some um, pipes that fuel the sort of slushy machine over here. And then we're going to put a coffee machine besides that. So it's also like a water sort of pipe. It's a stone stub above that uh, black concrete. And then two iron trap doors above those two over here. We're going to put tripwire hooks on all of those. And then we're going to put the stone pressure plates in the corner for the remaining two blocks left. Tripwire hooks above the sink and your kitchen is ready to be used. Okay, so we're regarding the dark oak signs. Now the signs do take a long time to write, so if you want to skip this process and just put the signs on, then that is totally cool as well. It's up to you guys. Now what you could also do is bring your sea lanterns down a, a bit, a little bit as well. I was going to say down again or a little bit, but I couldn't really make up my mind. Like that, so they, they are like instantly on show. Um, or you could keep them levitated up a little bit if you wish. But I'm going to put mine down so we can read what we're doing. So I'm going to put a sign in the corner over here. Second row down. Of course it's going to say Burger King straight away. Capital B and capital K like so. Now over here I'm going to put specials on the top line with a capital S. Like that. And then the second row down I'm going to put House Hopper. House Whopper even. <laughs> house Hopper. I can't spell. Ah. How do you spell Whopper? Oh, that makes sense. I literally had to look at a Burger King menu for this because I couldn't actually remember what they did because I haven't been to one in so long. So sad. And then on the third row down, we're going to put double um, steak burger. So like so. I just realized I spelled it wrong on my original. Outrageous. And then the last row is going to be nuggets down here because who doesn't love the chicken nuggets from these fine places? There we go. Now over here we're going to write burgers on the top row, so these are the different types of burgers they do, even though we have most of them on that sign before. We're just going to write a, rare, a variation of different flavoured burgers, sort of different meats in the burgers. So chicken, beef, and then cheese for the last row down here. Capital C Wheel Assassin, come on bro. There we go. Now for this one, we are going to go ahead and write desserts. On the top row, ice cream is always lovely. Like that. Oh, switch my picture across. 
Here we go. Ice cream. And then the next row down is going to be brownies. Because brownies are amazing as well. Now, I don't really know how to spell this without making a mistake. So, I hope it's spelled like that. There we go. Now, the next sign along is drinks at the top row. Then it is... Cola, of course, because that is what Eleven spills all over that girl by using her powers, which is very, very amusing. She deserved it. <laughs> Sprite, there we go. And then Fanta down at the bottom, like so. And then over in the corner, finally, we're going to write Burger King again because we need to remember, you know, we need to tell the guests where they actually went. So there we go. So just a little bit of logo representation there. Amazing. That is looking awesome. Now all we need is a Burger King logo and then we can open this place for some fine dining. Let's get doing it now. Alright guys, so to make the sign, you literally just need these four materials. A loom and six white banners, some black dye and some red dye. So really not that much. It's just the banners are always tricky to make. So we're going to be taking our time with this, of course. Let's just spread out our banners in our inventory again. Put your white banner in first of all. Put your red dye in. Once again, we'll do the outlining last, so leave that until the end. A left Dexter, like that. We are going to do a bottom row. A top row. So you make a C. You don't click the need help button. We do need help, but not, not yet. And then we're going to put the middle row. So we've got an E now. And then we're going to do the outside line again. So it looks like a B, like so. Take that one out. That is ready to go. We need to make a U. So use that right Dexter. The left Dexter. Oh, it's called a Sinister. Oh, okay. Creepy. And then a bottom row like that for a U. Pretty cool. Another banner goes in for the R. This is going to be a um, top row, like so. A left line like that. And then a diagonal line, like so. These are very simple banner designs, so if you guys have a better one, please feel free to use it. I am not the best with banners, as you know, so please, if you have anything better, please definitely use it. Honestly, it will look great. So let's go ahead. We're going to need to grab some white dye. Luckily, I have some in my inventory. So we're going to make a right line like so. Take our red dye out and put our white dye in. And then we're going to fill up basically half of our banner with the white dye like that. Then we're going to go ahead and take that out and put red dye in. Then we're going to fill up the bottom like that with a half... Um, with a quarter banner sort of line. Then we're going to go for a left line like that. And then a top one like that. Beautiful. That was the hardest one, so that's perfect. A left line goes on this E1 middle line. No, not the need help button. Ah. Constantly clicking that. It's always annoying me. <laughs> a top line, so we build an F. And then a bottom line, so we build an E. Perfect. Then we're going to go for the R back here. We literally just need to make a duplicate of this one. Although if you're on creative, you can literally just use this one. So we don't actually need to use this banner. Not exactly sure why I got it. Maybe just I forgot. So, so yeah, we're done. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Some days I make mistakes like that and I'm like, what am I doing? I'll look back at this when I'm editing and I'll just get annoyed at myself. Now, before I do forget, which I did forget because that's why I just scrapped my inventory. We need some black dye. Now the black dye is going to be useful for outlining all of these banners. So one by one we're going to put the banners in. Just click that top left button up there. And then put your banners in to get them an outline like this. Just for the Burger King type sign. Just here. Once again, a little bit of a slow process. But once it's done, it will look cool. And then you can move all of these into your inventory. Oops by going into your inventory and moving these down to your hotbar. There we go. So we can place these above. So B goes here, just on this block facing towards this way. U besides that, R besides that, G besides that, E besides that, and then R on the end like so. Now that end is of course going to be filled up eventually, but uh, in the next episode we'll get doing that. Um, for now it's going to be kind of out in the open, open to the elements and the darkness that is over here. But we'll get fiddling in that section very very soon thank you so much for watching this week's video guys i really hope you've had fun building sorry it was a long episode it did take a lot longer to do this like restroom area than i thought it was going to be but i'm glad we got it done today because that will save us some hassle in later videos 
Thank you once again for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you did enjoy this one, please be sure to drop a like. That would be awesome. If you'd like to stick around for my entire Star Court series, please consider subscribing. That would be amazing. You guys have an excellent day. Take care, of course. Stay safe. And I'll see you at the next release of some video coming very, very soon. Goodbye for now, everybody.